Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Today's reading was written by Amy Boucher Pye, and she titled it, Loving Our Neighbors. In the days of self-isolation and lockdown during the coronavirus pandemic, words by Martin Luther King Jr. in his letter from a Birmingham jail rang true. Speaking about injustice, he remarked how he couldn't sit idly in one city and not be concerned about what happens in another. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, he said, tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects us all indirectly. Likewise, the COVID-19 pandemic highlighted our connectedness as around the world cities and countries closed to stop the spread of the virus. What affected one city could soon affect another. Many centuries ago, God instructed His people how to show concern for others. Through Moses, He gave the Israelites the law to guide them and help them live together. In Leviticus 19, He told them to not do anything that endangers your neighbor's life, and to not seek revenge or bear a grudge against others, but to love your neighbor as yourself. God knew that communities would start to unravel if people didn't look out for others valuing their lives as much as they did their own. We too can embrace the wisdom of God's instructions. As we go about our daily activities, we can remember how interconnected we are with others as we ask Him how to love and serve them well. Now join me as I read from Leviticus chapter 19, verses 15 through 18. Do not pervert justice. Do not show partiality to the poor or favoritism to the great, but judge your neighbor fairly. Do not go about spreading slander among your people. Do not do anything that endangers your neighbor's life. I am the Lord. Do not hate a fellow Israelite in your heart. Rebuke your neighbor frankly so you will not share in their guilt. Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone among your people, but love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Let's pray. Loving Creator, help us to share your love and grace today with everyone. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Rochelle Traub, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.